Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is parameterization in TestNG? In TestNG, we can achieve parameterization in two ways. The first way is by passing the data from the TestNG XML files into the TestNG test methods with the help of this parameter tag and at the rate parameters annotation. That is one way to achieve the parameterization in TestNG. This is one way. And other way to achieve parameterization in TestNG is by using this annotation known as at the rate data provider annotation, where using which we can supply multiple sets of data to the same test method. Okay. So there are two ways in which we can implement parameterization in TestNG. Let me practically demonstrate these two ways for you now. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have the sample TestNG project. And in this, we have a sample class. Inside this class, I'll create a TestNG method. Okay. Public void, I'll say sample test. Some name I'm giving for this method. And here, I'll just uh, provide the annotation known as at the right test so that this will be converted into the TestNG test method. Import it. Now, here I would like to write some Selenium automation code. Web driver, driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Okay. The semicolon here for the mouse. Import this web driver from Selenium library. Import this Chrome driver some from Selenium library. Now say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Then say driver dot pitch. And here provide the application URL. Let's give this application URL that is omai.blogspot.com. Copy this and paste this. Here we are hard coding the URL. Okay. So if I run this test, this test will run. Okay. But here the URL is hard coded in the test method. Like this test method, there can be any number of test methods using the same URL here and there. And tomorrow, if that particular URL changes, if the client changes the URL of the application, okay, then we have to go to the individual script and update the URL in every test. The script is working though, working fine though, but the problem is with the hard coding of this. Okay. We should not be hard coding this URL in the test method. Okay, like this test method, there will be hundreds of test methods if they use the same URL and repeatedly they use. And tomorrow the URL changes have to go to every individual test and test and update the URL here. That is a high maintenance process. So how can we overcome this process? Simple. We can do one thing. That is, we can uh, create a test and XML file. Okay, for this in this project, I'll create a test and XML file. Right click and uh, go down till you see test and and say convert to test ng. You see, a test ng XML file is getting created directly under the project with this configuration. So here already you see this uh, demo class uh, where this uh, test ng test method is already noted down. Click on finish. A test ng XML file will be created. Open that. And here we have the test tag. And below the test tag, you write down, you create a parameter tag. Parameter, give the name as any name. I'll, I'll just name it as URL and value as this URL of the application. Instead of hard coding this URL here, I'm I am centralizing in the text and XML file like this. Okay. And self-close this uh, parameter tag. That's it. Done. Now come back to the demo dot Java. And here instead of hard coding this, what I'm going to do is here on the top of at the rate test, I'll write at the rate parameters annotation from test ng for the mouse. Import this from test ng library. And here circular bracket in that curly braces and provide double quotes. And give the name of the parameter. URL is the name whose value is this URL. Okay. Give that here. Now, this URL will come into this parameter. Okay. To this uh, parameter inside this method. This URL will be retrieved from this session XML file and will be passed to this parameter of the sample test method. Now, now provide that app URL here. That's it. Now, we are not hard coding the URL anywhere. So now if I run this uh, uh, test sample test from this uh, test ng XML file like this, this URL will be passed to that test ng test method because of this uh, at the rate parameters annotation and all. Okay. And uh, the script will run properly. You see, let me run this test ng XML file. The URL value will be passed to the demo dot Java test ng test method. And uh, the script is going to work fine. You see, we'll open the application URL. This confirms that we have successfully parameterized the test with the help of that. Okay. So the first way to implement parameterization in TestNG is to 
use parameter tag in testing XML file and along with that add the right parameters above the test ng test methods. Now there's one more way to implement parameterization in testing by implementing the data driven testing with the help of add the right data provider annotation. Let me show you how to do that. For that, uh, I'll simply remove this and create a new test, public void, sample, login test. Okay, I'll write like this. You can give any name here, that's okay. And I'll write at the rate test. Okay, at the rate test. I'll convert this normal test method into the test ng test method. And after that, here, I'll create two parameters, spring, username, comma spring, password. Now here, I'll write a print statement. Okay, here I can write a Selenium automation code also, but uh, just to save time, writing the print statement, logged in using plus this username and plus password, like this I'll write, okay, done. Now, to this test method, I would like to pass the data. Okay, I have parameterized the test method already. You see two parameters I provided. And uh, I would like to pass the data that is even one or multiple sets of data to this test ng test method from outside. For that, I'll create one more method. It is a data supplier method. Supply data method. You can give any name for this method, whatever your choice. And here, but on the top of this method, you have to write an annotation from test ng known as as the data provider annotation imported from test ng library. And you can even name this data provider. Name is equal to, you can give the name to this data provider method. That is a data supplier or whatever you feel convenient. And uh, this method need to supply the data to this, uh, any of the test methods. Here only one test method is there. I would like to supply the data from this method to this test method. For that, I'll create a two-dimensional object array like this. Data is equal to provide curly braces inside the curly braces provide again curly braces. How many curly braces? It depends on you. Like how many sets of data you want to pass? That many number of curly braces you have to provide here. Okay. So here first I'll say Arun. Here say one to three. I'll say Varun. And here say four, five, six. And here I'll say Tarun. And say seven, eight, nine. Okay, like this I'll say and say return data. The semicolon, the return type is two dimensional object array. Two dimensional object array. That's it. Okay. Now, this method is going to supply the data to any of the test methods. But uh, how to make the connection? Beside this, at the rate test uh, annotation of this test ng test method, you have to write data provider attribute is equal to the name of the data provider, that is this data supplier you provide. That's it. The connection between this data supplier or data provider and this test ng test method is done. Now, since there are three sets of data, the same test method is going to run three times. For every set of data, it's going to run, okay? Now run this test ng test method. It's going to run three times, every time with a different set of data. You see, the test got run three times. You can see that sample login test got uh, run three times with the different sets of sets of data every time, okay? Logged in using run one, two, three, logged in using run four, five, six, logged in using run seven, eight, nine. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question, that is how to implement parameterization in TestNG. There are two ways to implement parameterization in TestNG. One is using the parameter tag and at the rate parameters annotation. Other way is to implement data-driven testing in TestNG projects with the help of at the rate data provider annotation from TestNG, okay? By using these two ways, we can implement parameterization for different purposes in TestNG projects. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.